we said there are nine different kinds of pronoun. The first is personal pronoun, we completed. Now we do the second personal pronoun that is called the, the sorry, second pronoun that is the reflective pronoun. And the pronoun, pronoun, the first one is done for you. Now we do the second one that is reflective. Reflective, reflexive. Reflexive pronoun. Reflexive pronoun. Now let's look at what is this reflexive pronoun. A reflexive pronoun denotes it denotes denotes that the subject and the object denotes that the subject and the object subject and the object subject and the object refers to the refers to the same person same person or thing When you're talking about pronoun, this is the reflexive pronoun, that's the second part. The reflexive pronoun denotes that the subject and the object refers to the same person or thing. And here are some examples for you. He looked. He looked. He looked at himself. At him, he looked at himself in the mirror, in the mirror, okay? First we look at the sentence, then we'll identify the reflexive pronoun. She hurt herself, she hurt herself. And the next one we have. We often, we often do it ourselves. Next, we have, they completed the work themselves. They, they completed, they completed the work, the work themselves. And now one more sentence you have. You will have to visit her. You will have to visit. You will have to visit her yourself. We are talking about the second part of the pronoun, reflexive pronoun. Reflexive pronoun denotes that the subject and the object refers to the same thing. The subject he looked at himself in the mirror. The subject is he, object is mirror. So what is the subject doing? He is looking at where? Himself in the mirror. So himself is the reflexive, reflexive pronoun. In the second one, the subject is she, 
and the object is she got hurt. So, the subject and the object refers to the same person or thing. So, she is hurt herself. That is the reflexive pronoun. In the third sentence, we, we often do it ourselves. So, we do the work ourselves. What do we do often? We do all our work ourselves. So, ourselves is the reflexive pronoun. And here, they completed the work themselves. They subject, object is the work. They completed the work. The, the subject and the object are refers to the same person. What do they do? They did the work. How? They did it themselves. So, that is the reflexive, reflexive pronoun. In the, in the last sentence, the subject is you and then you also object is her, you have to visit her. So, you have to visit her yourself. Now, in these five sentences, the reflexive pronoun says that the subject and the object refers to the same person or thing. So, he is looking at the mirror. He looking at the mirror himself. She hurt herself. We often do it ourselves and they completed the work themselves and then you will have to visit her yourself. So, himself, herself, ourselves, themselves, yourself. All these are reflexive pronouns. Reflect, when you say reflexive pronoun, the subject and the object both refers to the same person or same thing. So, we have in these sentences himself, herself, ourselves, themselves and yourself. They are all reflexive pronouns. We will do a short exercise for us to understand the reflexive pronoun. So, you will circle the reflexive pronouns. Okay? Reflexive pronoun. So, what are you going to do? Circle. Circle the reflexive pronouns. First one, I blame myself, myself for it. I blame myself for it. Second, you have we often, we often talk to. We often talk to ourselves. And third, we have here, you will hurt, will hurt yourself. You will hurt yourself. Then you have you will enjoy, you will enjoy, you will enjoy yourselves, yourselves, boys. Then we have, he hanged himself. He hanged himself. Next we have, 
she put herself she put herself herself into trouble she put herself into trouble they always talk they always talk about themselves they always talk about themselves and finally we have the horse had hurt itself the horse had hurt itself so we have here circle the reflexive pronouns we are going in the sentence we are going to circle the reflexive pronoun i blame myself so myself is the reflexive pronoun we often talk to ourselves ourselves is a reflective pronoun you will hurt uh, mama will send you to play and she'll say you will hurt yourself you yourself you will enjoy yourselves boys you will enjoy yourselves he hanged himself he hanged himself she put herself into trouble herself they always talk about themselves the horse had hurt itself in all this this is reflexive pronouns what i am doing i do it myself we often talk to ourselves you will hurt yourself you will enjoy yourself boys he hanged himself she put herself into trouble they always talk about themselves the horse had hurt himself in all these circled pronouns are reflexive the talker when i say i i am doing it myself so reflexive identifying reflexive pronouns in these sentences and that's what we have done having done personal pronoun and reflexive pronoun we go to the third one that is emphatic pronoun the third kind of pronoun the third kind of pronoun is emphatic emphatic pronoun now what are the emphatic pronouns say an emphatic pronoun is used with a noun or a pronoun an emphatic an emphatic pronoun is is used with a noun or a pronoun a noun or a pronoun only for the sake of emphasis pronoun only for the sake of emphasis emphasizing emphasis now we look at some examples so we said we have done pronoun there are nine kinds we have done personal pronoun we have done we have done reflexive pronoun now we go into emphatic when you say emphatic pronoun we are talking about emphatic pronoun used with a noun or a pronoun for the sake of emphasis 
emphasizing something. You want to say this is it. Okay. Now let's look at the examples for us to understand better the emphatic pronoun. Examples are the glass itself the glass itself was durable durable next we have he himself himself he himself understood understood it. Next, I myself, I myself looked into, looked into the matter. And next we have is, you yourself, you yourself, yourself understood, understood the mistake. mistake. Then we have finally, we have they themselves, they themselves, they themselves invited the guest. They themselves invited, invited the guest, the guest. So, in this third emphatic, you want to emphasize, in the emphatic pronoun, we have few examples here. This is the third part we are doing. Okay. The glass itself, we are talking about the glass and we are saying itself. So, this is an emphatic, the glass itself, I myself, he himself. I myself, you yourself, they themselves. When you are talking about a noun or a pronoun, only for the sake of emphasizing, I myself, I myself went alone. I myself sat alone in the house. The glass itself was durable, it fell down. The glass itself, we are talking about glass, glass itself. He himself. He himself understood. That nobody told him. I myself looked into the matter. I, what do you say? I looked into the matter. You are emphasizing. I myself. You are giving emphasis. You are saying. You understood the mistake. You are saying. You yourself understood. You are emphasizing. They visited the guests. Invited the guests. They themselves invited the guests. Now in this itself, himself, myself, yourself, themself, itself. When you say this, you are emphasizing. You can say, I sat alone in the house. I myself sat alone. So, and when you make emphasis, when you say you emphatic pronoun. So, we have done three types of pronoun now. And as you go along doing exercises, you will understand better. Now, we will do the emphasizing pronoun. Underline the emphasizing program pronouns the pronouns that are used to the noun or pronoun for the sake of emphasis we call it emphasizing pronoun so we are going to underline the emphasizing pronoun underline underline the emphasizing
pronouns. We have here, I myself, I myself was there. I myself was there. We ourselves, we ourselves served the guest, the guest. You must do it yourself. You must do it yourself. Boys, you yourself wanted this. Boys, you yourselves, you, your You yourselves wanted this, wanted this. He himself told me this. He himself told me, told me this. She herself, she, her, self insulted me. She herself insulted me. They themselves, they themselves They themselves went there, went there. And finally we have, the town itself fell. The town itself. Town itself fell. So, now we are looking at words, underlining the emphasizing words, emphasizing pronoun. We are going to underline the emphasizing pronoun. Okay, now, I myself, we ourselves, you yourself. You, yourselves, self or self, when it's plural selves. He, himself, she, herself, they, themselves, the town itself. Now, these words, myself, ourselves, yourself, you se yourselves, himself, herself, themselves, itself. All these words are used with the noun or pronoun for the sake of emphasis and therefore we are calling them emphasizing pronoun. They are using it with either nouns or they use, we are using it with the nouns or pronouns. Now, when you say I, myself, you are emphasizing. We, they say ourselves. So all these nouns or pronouns, when we use words like this, then we say, we call them emphasizing pronoun. We have learned to circle, we have learned to underline the emphasizing pronoun. 